Thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm back here in Empyrean Galactic Reforged Eden. And as you can see, I am looking at a TN Long class battleship. This is Reforged Eden version 1.9. Uh, I finally found one. I had spent a long time since I've actually stumbled across one. Actually, I think the last time I found one was before they were updated for the, the new Reforged Eden turret layout and whatnot. So uh, this is going to be an interesting battle. I think it's actually not going to be too bad. Uh, I do have a pretty high CPU ship. I've got a lot of upgrades, lots of heavy turrets. Within the turrets, what I am going to do, though, is I'm dividing some of the targeting for my lasers and positrons. I'm going to focus on turrets, mounted weapons. For my explosive, which is our heavy missiles, I'm going to focus on turrets and mounted weapons as well. But I do have some plasma and artillery that are only going to focus on the thrusters. Uh, actually, I'll have to make sure I turn my artillery on. The reason why I'm doing that is to divide up some of the, the hits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in directly behind the TN Long and try to disable its forward thrusters. Uh, shield tank everything, obviously, because it's got a boatload of turrets. And then what I might even do after that is... After I take out all of its rear thrusters, uh, I might even back out a render distance to get it to stop completely and then come back in for the focus core kill from behind. I will be coring with the heavy blaster cannons, which as you can see, I have 14. Clearly, this is a block limits off server. This is on Spanja's server, so uh, I am able to get a little bit more than the block limits would normally allow, but um, here we go. Let's do this. I'm going to focus on shield first. Try to stay directly behind it. Um, and then uh, go for some solid hits here. We'll see. So far, he doesn't seem to be doing much damage to me. All right, well, his shield is already down. And again, with the with with how my firepower is is divided, I should take out his, uh, his thrusters pretty quick. Oh, maybe I'll give it some help here. Gets rid of some of those thrusters that he's got. Yeah, he's not moving. Actually, he's not doing a lot of shield damage to me, it looks like. Get rid of those. Yeah, most of this stuff is uh, getting tore up pretty fast here. And the thing with the TN Long is it has a ton of loot in it, but it also has uh, a bunch of quantum boxes in it. Uh, well, it's got two quantums and then a quantum box itself, I believe. Yeah, this guy is pretty much a dead in the water almost already. Alright, let me think about... Maybe I'm going to turn my artillery and plasma off. And I'm going to turn my explosives off as well, which are my rockets. Uh-oh. There we go. There goes a the thruster. How many more rear thrusters do I got here? I don't know what that's shooting at. Somehow I didn't take that one out. There I did. Okay. It looks like, let me turn my lasers off here. And I'm just gonna shield tank this. I believe the core is straight through here. And again, these are heavy blasters. Uh, I do see some fire coming at me, but that's okay. Other people like to use rail guns. That is also an effective option. Actually, maybe one block too. 
shields are holding strong. I'm barely seeing any damage. Man, these Tian Longs are much easier than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, it is definitely through this area, straight through. There's like 15 rows of combat steel you have to get to or something like that. And then the cores in there, I will take out a... Um, box when I core it. Man. It's hard to see how far in I am. Alright, I think I see some light in there. That's good. The reason why I'm being careful is because right behind the core is one of the quantums. super close to that quantum. Shield's still at 50%, that's insane. Okay. Oh, I see the core. I can see it. One shot and it's dead. Dead. Bam. That's the T and long. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought. Now let's take a quick look at this. At all the turrets on this thing. Yeah, these are all heavy turrets. There's uh, going to be two quantums and a quantum box, tons of ultra rares. I mean, you can kind of see all the turrets on this thing. The thrusters. This is going to be fun to kind of go through and just salvage it up and see what's all in there. I do know that most of the most, if not all, the loot is in the middle of the ship, kind of that middle section. So. I don't see anything else really hostile in this sector. Uh, let me just park, get my nose up here so my Wi-Fi extender's up there as well. Um, I'm going to leave some boom boom on in the ship in case something comes near and then let's go in and loot it and just show you kind of some of the stuff that's in there. Looted it to very early which is why I got what's in there. Alright, let me... Grab a core. And I brought my salvager clochina for for later to, to kind of vacuum it up. I'll definitely get to that. Alright. Let's go into the back. Where am I at here? Right through here. So this is the hole that I blew a hole straight through. Uh, I did not blow the quantum. That's awesome. There should have been a loot box in here that I blew. But I don't see. It was an ultra rare. So there was an ultra. Oh, there it is. It's right here. Epic heavy. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Retrieve, just make sure I retrieve the combat steel perfect. And I want to link, I'm already linked. Alright, I'm retrieving the whole block, so I'm going to get this quantum extender. Get some of this stuff. Get these, and I always like to pick up those boxes so I know I've looted them ready. Okay, let's keep going and let's get more quantum. So, I think there's another one up here. Oh, I got a crew. Look at that. Yep, here's the other quantum. There's that one. 
And then I think if I go in this hangar door, maybe not, maybe it's below me. Here it is. Here's the other one, this blue box, I believe. Yes, three CV quantums out of that. Very cool. Now, in this hangar is a ton of, uh, of loot boxes. Let's see what else I get out of this guy. Yeah, I'm trying to, and I'm certain I'm going to miss some stuff. If we go in the P menu really quick, sorry, let's look at that. Uh, turrets. Look at all these heavy turrets. Okay, you got some basics, palms, whatever, but like all those heavy turrets, look at that, that's insane. Heavy miniguns, imperial particle beams, that's cool. Man, there's just so much stuff. I'm definitely going to go through and salvage up a bunch of that. A bunch of those turrets. Here's more loot containers. So I guess the moral of the story is that the TN Longs actually are pretty easy to fight. In all reality. Um, I think back here is... Ooh, there's an ultra rare, I believe. I think the warp drive is back further through this door maybe yep and there is a loot container what else what else okay I'm certain I missed a lot uh, always get the fuel I always just do 9999 and I just go bam all right, so we got that. There's a loot container. You saw there's a, there's a, or maybe I haven't seen it, seen him yet. There's a, a ton of RCS in this ship. There, uh, there's gotta be. What did the P menu say? 26 RCS. They don't do a whole lot, but hey, they're there. All right, oxygen, we'll get that little bit. Hey, there's a loop. Ooh, look at this. That was totally random. Oops. Oh, it's on this side. Oh, there's one. Oh, an ultra rare. Yeah, they're just hidden everywhere, aren't they? Oh, that's outside. There's going to be so many of these that I missed, too. Um, that I'll eventually get when I go through and salvage up this thing. Yeah, three CV quantums, though, out of the T and Long. That's pretty sweet. Here's what I missed. up here been there already okay let's keep moving I see loot container loot container maybe I got these already why don't I take the box silly me There's another loot container and another crew. Oh, more crew. Ultra rare. Nothing special. But we got crew. That's cool. Ah, I really want to fly it. Trying to go down. Whoa, what's going on here? There we go. I 
Heck, I might even have a storage problem on my sh on my ship to even pick up all the loot on this thing. Hopefully, I've got enough container controller storage. Otherwise, I might call in a faction buddy or two from the Rat Pack to see if they can stop by with a cargo ship. All right. Well, I think I got a lot of the loot. I'm not going to say I got all of it for sure because I'm certain there's some more stuff hidden in these walls. But for now, I think that's good enough. Um, wow, this is just a lot of loot. This is just a lot of stuff. And if you leave the play field, it all despawns. So that's the deal. Okay. I'm going to get in. And this was my soul crusher, by the way, if I didn't say that earlier. I'm going to get in my ship and uh, start picking it up. And I do have a multi-tool, multi-turret. Dang, there's a lot of turrets here. How much space did that take up in my harvest controller? Ooh, it's a third full already. Heavy positron, that's not bad. These turrets are going to yield so much, so many resources, upgrade kits, turrets for my own ship to stick on. How am I doing on storage space? Oh, not bad. So 165k. Half full now. So many of these these turrets by going behind the TN long. So many of these turrets never even came into play. I mean, it's a great, fantastic, like broadside, kind of that sci-fi RP type ship. Uh, but in the world of Imperion and how this game is designed, unfortunately, the TN long isn't that hard to defeat. And now that I've done it once, I'm confident you could definitely do it with a significantly smaller ship doing on storage. Pretty good yet. And I'm definitely happy I split up my targeting on, on the, ooh, I'm full, basically full, on my turrets and had some stuff focus on turrets and mounted weapons and some stuff focus on the thrusters because that did really make this go a lot faster. And I think it also minimized the over damage of the rear of the ship because if you look at it, I 
Yeah, I tore apart the rear a little, a little bit, but really that's I mean, it's mostly intact. I kind of like this night vision because it helps me see stuff a little bit better sometimes. Any other ship? The turrets here. I see some on the other side that I'm going to have to go get. I'm not seeing any others here. Lots of thrusters, drive thrusters. I could pick up a few of those, but honestly, I really don't need them. Um, I may salvage them, though. We'll see. You know, it gets to the point where you get late game. Oh, turrets didn't like something. Probably a drone. Gets to the point when you get to late game where you just don't need a lot of resources anymore, so I, I tend to leave a lot of good salvage behind. Any other turrets? I don't... There's one right here. I'm not seeing any other turrets on this. There may be a few I'm overlooking, but... I go... Oh, wow. that those are all the heavy well some of these I probably had them from the Tavera but still that's a lot a lot of turrets that I got off of this guy how was I doing on storage oh I'm full there so I basically have yeah I have a little bit of storage space left I think what I'm going to do from here is oh I still see a little exclamation point I am going to park underneath the Tian Long. And then I'm going to get out my salvager for a bit. Oh, that was weird. thing because I know that's where all the loot the loot is I do like this in third person although with the T and long that's kind of hard But you'll see, this is the Clochina C L O A C I N A. This thing just evaporates stuff so fast. I mean, this is a big battleship, but that's all combat steel that it's absorbing right now. Yeah, I'm seeing some boxes in there, but I'll have to take a look at those. Some of those might just be regular cargo boxes uh, that I've uh, picked up. Yeah, I'm basically all the way to the back of it already. Am 
Might even be some crew in there, it looks like, maybe. Get that thruster. Oh, there's a turret. Right there. That turret, these or th these thrusters are all obviously good resources. Drive thrusters are nice. I blew a bunch of those up already, though. And I don't really want to go too far from Soul Crusher in case another sh drone or something comes in. While Clochina does have a shield, it is a very paper thin shield, and a drone will melt it fast. Those, I believe, are just the standard large thrusters. Yeah, those are the 2x2s. Two those are not the drives. That looks like a drive thruster. Which means the other side's going to have one in the same spot that I didn't get. Yep. Ooh, I got some in the front, too. If I go back here, I miss these. Those are drives or are those the two by twos those are the two by twos the advanced either way they all give some good good uh, good resources on the salvage side oh those are drive thrusters see some thrusters here well I think that's you know kind of it I might start cutting through a little bit more in the middle just to see or at least go through some some of those floating loot boxes to see what else might have been in there but it looks like I got most of the loot most of the thrusters most of the turrets uh, I'm gonna keep picking through this for now but that's it that's a TN long oh, there's another drive thruster uh, that's a TN long. Honestly, a lot, like I said before, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Massive amount of loot, lots of salvage here. Um, and three CV quantums. Of course, that one boss could be a large, small, or, or some of those disruptor cannons charges too. But either way, I got three CV quantums, which is pretty sweet. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for joining. If you have any questions, obviously, please do let me know. Otherwise... Hope to, see you next, hope to see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Take care.